Okay, we're back at the pedestal. Hopefully this will be the last video in the series. <clears throat> I have the chain back on, the cog there. I have the transmission lever and the throttle lever installed. The cables are all installed. <clears throat> so I just need to put the pedestal back together and then connect them to the engine. And then just to adjust the length so they have the proper throw. So um, we're gonna start doing that next. And also you'll notice that I repaired the um, connector that I broke taking it off. I didn't do the other one because it's still solid, but I, this one I did use a waterproof connection. So um, I did that off camera because I've already done a video on how to make connectors. And I will put that in the description if you want to see how to make good connectors um, for wires. So let me put you in the mount and we will get back to putting the pedestal back together. It is really pretty simple. Um, we have the intermediate piece which has the levers on it. I just got this back from Edson. I had them um, tune it up. Basically they just lubricated it and adjust the screws and everything. And I will have to adjust the tension on the throttle once we uh, get the boat out. Then we'll put the compass mount on and then we'll put the compass on. And I do have the yellow tape still on there to index where the compass goes because I really don't want to adjust the compass again. So this should be a relatively quick and easy um, part. Installing the cables will take a little bit more time, but um, it is what it is. So let's put the shifters in. Push it through, and I don't know if you can see that. And then on the other side, I will put a washer and the cotter pin. And I'll do that for both of them. I will pause it while I do this because there's no need for you to watch me do that. Okay, we have the pins in the levers, and I secured the wire for the um, backlight for the compass. So we're ready to install the compass and that will secure the base to the pedestal. The levers are all set. I need to adjust them after this is after I put the compass in because the compass locks this because this is still loose. So I need to get the compass on before I can adjust the cables. So, so let's get the compass mount. Yes, I know this goes this way because the slot's in the back, so I you know I haven't located it properly. It's good. I bought new screwdrivers. I'm going to use the new screwdrivers. I have this set that I got from West Marine 15 years ago. It still works. It's in a, like a $50 kit. It still works. I still like it. But I got some new screwdrivers, so we're going to use those. riveting I'm sure and how am I going to get to that compass wire that's going to be fun such tight tolerances in there make sure the levers work they do Gonna put the compass on just yet because I have to go down below and adjust the cables so I don't know what I need to do. I don't want to take the compass off if I don't have to. So time to go down below. I'm gonna pause you till I get all that ready. Okay we're back so I'm going to put on the cable end for the shifter. Just want to double check that this is the shifter one and have it so on the last cable this was screwed down all the way so I will continue I will continue doing that so and then it looks like you adjust the cable by mounting the cable in cable bracket in a sheath clamp 
on the um, motor mount that's there. So that's what I will do. So let's see. I have a metric wrench that will fit this standard. End, and I do. So let's get this nice and tight. That's nice and tight. It still rotates, but the inner part is still can rotate. So that's that. And the nut is in the bowels of the boat. So I will, when I go down below, I will put that on. So let me get the other cable. I'm going to pause you again. I'll get the other cable. Okay, I got the throttle cable here. So same deal. On the old cable, it was screwed down all the way, so I will continue doing that. Screw that down as far as it'll go. And again, the outer nut and the inner nut need to be tightened. And that works there. So hold that one. The other one is a different size, and maybe I'll get lucky. And I do. Sometimes you can get lucky with metric fasteners on standard nuts. So that's all set. That does rotate. There's a little spring action there. This is a little stiffer. So that's that. Now I will go down below and I will see. Now there's no way I'm going to be able to show you. There's no the throttle, the uh, shifter is directly against the firewall, so there's like literally no way I'm going to get a camera in there. So this will be it until I can at least do the um, throttle, and then maybe that one I can show you how to do. But I'm going to go put the other one on. I'll be back. Yep, just as I predicted. It was crazy difficult access to get to the cables on the engine, so but I did get them nice and secure on the engine. And the levers are beautiful. Virtually no effort to shift. And you can definitely feel the positive action when it goes into neutral. So that's the transmission. Here's the throttle. Nice and smooth. My only worry is if when the engine starts vibrating, if this will start walking off backing off because it's spring-loaded on the engine so I'm just worried that it'll be a little stiff uh, well it's not stiff enough but we will there is an adjustment inside but I have it down as tight as it can go and it's still a little loose so hopefully it'll get enough friction so got the index mark lined up so we are good to go and I'm gonna wrap up this video and gonna call this a success thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe